But first, a push to close Illinois prisons that house the youngest criminals, kids. Instead, a proposal to rehabilitate them. Tonight, we're breaking it all down and looking to see if that's the perfect solution. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey live. Megan, there's a growing chorus of advocates who say prison time for juveniles is not the answer. Right, Brad, many of them have firsthand experience. Today I talked with a man who was locked up as a teenager in the youth prison in St. Charles, and he says the millions of dollars needed to keep these prisons running could be much better spent. Come on, JB. Set our youth free. Come on, JB. Set our youth free. Tucked away in the green fields of Kane County is a massive 127 year old facility that can hold nearly 350 kids. But right now, there are only about 30 juveniles incarcerated at the Illinois Youth Center St. Charles. How old were you? I was like, probably, like, probably like 15, 16. Sharif Polk used to be one of them. But the whole idea of like, you're still a human, you know what I'm saying? You're still a person before this 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 position that you have, you know what I'm saying? So my experience and the conditions, man, it was it was really it was really horrible. Polk isn't the only one who feels that way. Just two years ago. They're behind fences and barbed wires, right? They're not animals, they're human. Anne Marie Brown worked as an outreach worker inside the prison walls. Now she's calling for its closure. So you put them in a hostile environment like that. And then you realize why they, you know, may act out or may not feel like they want to be here or are crying for help. Now both have joined the final five campaign dedicated to closing the five youth prisons left in Illinois, a goal that Governor J.B. Pritzker announced his support for a year ago. In fact, a lot of the evidence is very clear that it hurts them um, and it promotes increased likelihood of criminal behavior when, you know, when they're older. Jennifer Volan Katz, executive director of the prison watchdog John Howard Association, says the research points to the fact that prison budgets could be better spent on community based rehabilitation and treatment services. In 2021, $26 million was budgeted to run St. Charles. What do we want? We are you. When do we want it? Now. These advocates say the process of closing these prisons needs to happen much more quickly because every day, more and more kids are having their first pivotal interactions with our criminal justice system. They're human, they deserve to be able to laugh and love and you know have pain and hold this trauma and be able to talk about it like anybody else. Today, Governor Pritzker's office told me that over the last several months, they've been gathering recommendations about how to improve the youth prison system here in Illinois, and that includes preliminary plans for a smaller therapeutic youth center in Lincoln, Illinois. Brad? Megan, we know hundreds of juveniles have been arrested so far this year for some very serious crimes and murder, carjacking, etc. cetera, uh, but it's really difficult to get data uh, on the problem. Right, you, you touched on it well, that it, the juvenile data has been much harder to get access to than the adult data. We can say, though, that in just the first four months of this year, CPD made 474 juvenile arrests. Okay, that is a telling number, just in Chicago. Megan Hickey, CBS2 investigator, thank you. Just 10 years ago, there were eight youth prisons incarcerating nearly 1,200 young people across our state. Now there are five prisons incarcerating about 100 kids.